All right. Good morning, Be the Good Nation. So this is my first time using this particular camera. Mrs. Be the Good got me a GoPro 11 and a gimbal for Christmas. So we'll see how that does. See if it makes the videos less shaky. This is out of the box. So I've done no special settings on the GoPro. The other ones that I shoot with are GoPro 9s. Now, the advantage to the gimbal is it's supposed to obviously be less shaky, uh, have a little more control. Downside is you can't use any mods with it. So the audio is gonna be back to just whatever's the GoPro mic's picking up. So we'll play around with that and see uh, see how it sounds. I do have, and you can't, uh, you can't add external mics or anything to it. So we now have three GoPros and each one's gonna have a special purpose. This one will be like what I already said. What's up? And the, uh, the old one I was shooting with all the time, I got a light for it. So it'll be, good morning. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You ain't gotta ask me twice. I see you need water too. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, the water bottle's getting ugly. <laughs> yeah, so new, it's a new deal to get used to, but I think it's going to improve the videos. The other one. The old one, I'll still, like I said, I got a light for it. Also for Christmas. So I got a lot of video and stuff. So we'll take that. Here, let's see. See how this works. Turn it around. Woohoo! So yeah, so we'll take that. And that one will be for my steel shots. And inside houses when it's dark. You know, inside places the GoPros usually don't do great with stuff like that and then the third one is the one I usually always use for the time lapses so I'll continue to be what it does plus I'll now have one to put on whatever the girls named there side by side so we can get some footage from their point of view as they ride around the farm and terrorize the duck moppy is heading down to the pond for the first time and a few days they've been hanging out inside their habitat waiting on these cold the cold uh the wind gusts and stuff to die down oh they're so happy to be heading down there wow i didn't know they could fly that far good job hopefully it picked some of that up so this is the PTZ camera that's mounted on the back of the barn. So it actually auto tracks and zooms and everything. So this is all being done by AI. This is uh, not me. I went back and looked at this, found this footage and recorded it.
What do you think, dog dog? I know you already went down there, but I'm behind. As usual. Go see the chickens. Looks like more of the pond froze over. All the nephews are coming today. Well, except for one, my nephew that everybody enjoyed on the Thanksgiving video. They live up north, so they either come down Thanksgiving or Christmas. So we'll be missing them today. That's my sister's kid. So my brother's kids are coming today. So they'll terrorize and run everywhere and have a good time. Let's see. That's pretty thick. Now I gotta move it. I don't want them stepping in that. Help them get frostbite quick. They go through a lot of food when it gets cold. There we go. Put that there to carry back. Oh, little chicken. Why weren't you? I'm sorry, little chicken. I would have grabbed you last night. I didn't see you. Oh, well. Good morning, big chickens. What you got? Come on. Hey, baby. Come on. Come on. All right, not waiting on you all day. There you go. Uh, we'll get them last. Good morning. What's up, little chickens? See how the little chickens are doing? Hello, little chickens. Alright, come on. One green egg. Those chickens are called olive eggers. Those of you that tuned into the last video saw uh, that the Beely kids have gotten a new toy for Christmas. So they, that's the only time they, they drove it. It was too cold. I mean, it's got a windscreen in it. Anyway, I thought she did good for her first time. That's it, dog dog. We got them all. Come on. Here. Oh, duh. Can't let him out yet. Good thing y'all made some noise. That's right. Good thing you were loud. Yeah. Good morning. I'm sorry I didn't know that your lady was in there. I would have got her out too. Come on. So I remember people were talking about digging the pond really deep. And we're like, well, that's no. And I've even had some comments, you know. Uh, you got to have a 15 foot deal to have a bass pond, yada yada. As you see, Bama Bass, who I know a lot of y'all watch, he's an expert on bass fishing. And this one, when it's full, is deeper than his. 
overall. So, you know, it's, you don't need a super deep pond, except for, usually in the north, you do to avoid ice. And we're like, well, we don't get ice here. Well, you see, sometimes we speak things out to the universe. They show up. Yep, it is. I don't know how thick it is, but it is a solid sheet of ice today. There we go. <clears throat> Stay dog dog. Huh. Yeah, we ain't going out on that. I said in the last video, I'll probably say to everyone when we're doing this, if you got kids and you're in an area that this does usually usually does not happen like this doesn't usually happen for us do not let them play out on that ice it's very dangerous it is not that thick and it will have a bad day like the nephews are coming over today and that's the first chat we're gonna have is not to walk out of here on the ice good news is it's not that deep yet but <clears throat> you get out there in the middle where it's close to four feet you slip through you're under the ice yeah that can end very badly so the pond yeah that's right the pond surface will be off limits right dog dog that's right all right What else is going on? I see. Got the solar ray to finish. So, not doing any work today. Still visiting with family. So probably uh, about Wednesday. We'll hop on that and wrap that up. We've got the uh, front gates to do to finish up. Now that they're hung. So we'll finish all the wiring and everything to them probably uh, towards the end of the week also and we got to set up for the new year's eve spectacular we'll see right now it's calling for thunderstorms hopefully that pushes off we'll keep looking as it gets closer but the plan is to shoot them off from the island and be streaming live so that'll be fun <laughs> Probably didn't catch that from back here, but the chicken that uh, doesn't stay with the other chickens anymore, she stays on her own in the woods. Dog dog's chasing her around. She sure can't fly far. Dog dog! <laughs> Terrorizing the poor chicken. Dog dog never chases the animals, that's weird. I guess she's just trying to, she's just trying to have a friend. Clean this up. Dog, dog. You terrorizing that poor chicken? Huh? Hey, little chicken. Well, you gotta tell your other chickens, your buddies, to fly over then. Left my gloves in the house like a dummy. Hope everybody's having a great holiday. We, uh, we've had this weird bout of some sort of stomach flu thing happening. My youngest had it. And then my oldest had it <laughs> and now my second oldest has got it so it's like taking its time and going through lots of stomach pain throwing up it's just not good last about half a day 
Mars, but it's just weird. Goes along with all the other weird stuff that happens on Earth. All right.